First, though, let's talk a little bit about last night. You'd be surprised how many things in nature can happen in just half a second. A woodpecker, for example, can peck at a tree 10 times in just half a second. Also in half a second, a mosquito beats its wings around 300 times. For humans, it's a lot tougher to do anything in half a second, although here in Phoenix, they seem to have mastered it. Yep, forget Steve Nash's seven seconds or less. This year's edition of The Suns operates on an offensive principle Coach Monty Williams calls 0.5, which means that whenever a guy touches the ball, he has just half a second, or 0.5, to decide whether to shoot it, pass it, or drive it. 0.5 is what helped the Suns step on the gas and finally blow by the Clippers in the conference finals. And last night, 0.5 helped Phoenix go up 2-0 on the Bucks. Part of the benefit of this system is it moves the defense around to create more space for three-pointers. And indeed, in game two, the Suns took 40 threes and made 20, a franchise playoff record. Devin Booker in particular benefited. He had seven of those made threes on his way to 31 points. But it was hardly just him. Watch this insane 12-pass sequence from the end of the first half. Constant motion taken to the extreme. And even though Milwaukee actually does a nice job defending here, watch how much running around the Bucks players have to do just to keep pressure up on the play until the Suns' quick decision-making <laughs> eventually break things open for that DeAndre Ayton basket. Ayton even drew a foul on the play. Part of an overall second-quarter serve <laughs> that let Phoenix <laughs> enter halftime up double digits. I mean, right? Uh, it also frustrated, of course, Milwaukee's Giannis Antetokounmpo so much that we saw this in a timeout in the huddle. Yeah, uh, I think his message was just, you know, it's not about any of us individually. It's about us collectively. Stay together, stick together, take it one possession at a time um, was his message in that timeout. That kind of leadership and growth Giannis showed there, it's notable. Being that vocal is definitely not something we would have seen him do just a couple years ago even. Although what Giannis did on the court last night, even more impressive. Just nine days after hyperextending his knee so badly, many feared he'd just be out for the rest of the playoffs. Giannis played 40 minutes, putting up 42 points on just 22 shots. He was a particular monster in the third quarter, dropping 20 in that frame alone, which ironically was the most in a quarter at the NBA Finals since Michael Jordan scored 22 against Charles Barkley's Suns back in 93. Now, the difference, of course, is that NBA's team actually won that game. Giannis' team did not, despite getting close a couple times down the stretch. And now the Bucks will have to once again try to regroup as the series turns and heads to Milwaukee. After the buzzer, we saw Chris Paul walk to the sideline and hug his close friend, Dwayne Wade, who had flown into town to take in the game. As Wade hugs CP, you can hear him say, two more, bro, two more. And that is indeed the crux of it. The Suns are halfway to a championship, or maybe we should say they are 0.5 of the way to a place where all those half seconds are adding up to possibly a very shiny trophy. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.